it wants you to split up this one array. The most special part about teaching is being able to connect with your students. Excellent, so how many rows do you have in this array? I always wanna make an impact on people and I definitely found kids were the best because you know, the younger they are, the more moldable they are and the more likely they are to take advice and want to listen to you. And I've learned and I love it so much that you gain the trust of these kids if they will do anything for you. How many faces does this cone have? And it's, you know, really fulfilling and makes me feel great and that I'm making a difference in people's lives. We have four teacher education programs here at USCB. We have two for younger children, one early childhood education. We also have an elementary education program. And we have two high school or secondary programs, one in English and one in mathematics. What is 10 plus 15 on the count of three? USCB really provided us with a lot of different resources. They gave us access to amazing professors, some of them that have taught in the area, as well as in various other areas in the country. The way our programs are structured, students spend their first two years taking care of their general education coursework and also basic theoretical overview introductory courses in education and curriculum and child development and so forth. And after two years, they apply formally to be teacher candidates, what we call the professional program. They spend considerably more time in the field in both the practicum experiences, they're in the field two days a week, all day, and they're here on campus learning how to teach in specific methods courses in English language arts and mathematics and sciences. And then their final semester, they're in internship where they student teach all day, every day. This is the line, keeps going. Nothing really compares to being in the classroom and having real experience with students and learning from experienced teachers. My pride come, I worked with a, a veteran teacher over at May River and you know, a lot of things in her repertoire and talking about, hey, you know, this is what I've done in this sense. And, you know, being able to ask these questions, both at May River, I had a 28-year you know, veteran, I had a 25-year veteran at Bluffton High. So these teachers really have been through it. They've really seen everything as far as, you know, what's the good, what's the bad, where kids have issues. They've, they've been through it all as far as all the kinds of things that I could think of, you know, what could this be, could this be an issue, could this be an issue, you know, what, what can we do with this scenario, and they, they have pretty much all the answers that anybody could have, anything I asked, that, they, you know, these teachers really knew what was going on, really been through it, and were really, you know, helpful and supportive at all times. So two to the third power would be what? They showed me how to keep a classroom of students engaged, because, you know, in this time we're in now, it's dealing with computers and TV and video games all the time. I've learned you have to be, they taught me how to be more entertaining and more engaging than that. And that was definitely probably the biggest thing I got taken away from it. Because my thing is if you can keep them engaged and that kind of takes care of the majority of your behavioral problems. So that has totally helped me and it just helps them learn because they really want to because they're engaged and interested. They also put us in a bunch of different schools inside of the district. And that really helped to give me a feel for what it's like teaching in this area. And it really helped me decide to stay here and not look elsewhere for my first year of teaching. Buford has such a diverse demographic in both areas. You know, during my practicum and internship experience, both on this side of the Broad River and on the South End, you know, each area is so different. So we get a vast experience with different kinds of demographics and teaching methods. And, you know, each group of kids is different, especially based on the area. I think perhaps one of our greatest strengths as an institution is our collaboration with the Buford County School District. We use Buford County not just as a place for students to get practicum and student teaching experience, but we have very close collaboration. So many of our adjuncts, for example, are principals or teachers in the school district, and virtually all of our graduates end up teaching in Beaufort County. Beaufort County provides you with a lot of different tools as a new teacher. They provide you with mentors that you can reach out to to assist you. Which one is a ray? I think the biggest thing that I've received here is the support. You get a building mentor and you get a district mentor, and I have had amazing support from both of those. So they're always there for me to talk to. So if you're looking for a place to stay, I would say Beaufort County is great when it comes to support. It definitely with, you know, the amount of support just through giving, you know, any material I would need or any sort of, you know, pedagogical teaching methods, you know, just, hey, try this. If this isn't working for you, try this. Just always ready to listen and throw some sort of constructive criticism or just a solution even sometimes just to any sort of roadblock I come across. Teaching is an extraordinarily challenging, complex field. It's the kind of thing one always can get better at. And so we encourage our students to stay in touch with us, but also to seek out mentors in the school district, many of whom are graduates of our program, many of whom have also very long teaching careers themselves. So we encourage students not to go it alone, but to make connections with mentor teachers in the district, experts, 
and to stay in touch with faculty here at USCB. I just love Buford. I love I love the the people around Buford area. I love the you know the attitude and the, the just the way that people carry themselves in Buford. They seem to you know have that tenacity of wanting to succeed, wanting to work hard, wanting to be successful. And if I can be that kind of influence that I have from other teachers in Buford County, where I had teachers that you know always try to get go the extra mile for me, always tried to help me and do whatever they could to make me successful as a person. And if I could do that same and shed that kind of same light on anybody else's life, then all of it's worth it. You really put all you can into those kids. Definitely in the area we live in, they will give you everything that they can. They'll do anything for you. If you're willing to put in the time, it'll be a fulfilling and you know it's not always easy, but you definitely feel the love from these parents and kids. I think the thing that I enjoy most is just the relationships that you get to build with students. In your practicum and in your internship, you build relationships, but there's nothing like when you're the sole teacher and the students look up to you as that person to come to when they need something. I really like that not every day is the same, so it's not really like a job where you can come into every single day and expect it to flow smoothly. I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. I really learned to enjoy the chaos and like what is being thrown at me every single day. People tell you it's a tough time to start teaching as far as things and stuff going on. Yeah, it's rough and a lot of things going on, but I'm gonna tell you, you know, all the good things, it's here and there, it's just, it's worth it. All of it's worth it. X to the sixth, next to the fifth would be what? X. So what is this one? It has a point and then it keeps going. Y'all need to get busy on this. You know what you need to do. 